Hi everyone, I'm going to share to you what I have learned recently about this stat command here from Git. It's quite interesting. This stash is related to the word write. It's like how can we have some work in progress and then write everything and return to the later safe state, how to return to the latest commit. But then you could think, but it's not the same as utilize the git reset. When we use git reset and hard parameter, we return to the last commit and just dispose the change we have done. But sometimes we don't want to dispose things. We just want to return to the last commit, to the, to the last safe state. But later on, in feature, we could wish to return to this previous work that was just not finished yet when you had to return. And that's the purpose of stash. With this command here, you can take all your work in progress, still not committed, and save in a safe area and return your code to the last commit. And later on, you can recover in that. And it's very simple to use. So why do you think we explore that together? So let's explore. Here we have a Git repository, no change made. It means here is the folder I have the Git repository created. And here's the file, no change performed. If you change, do here some change, like here we could include some new, new code. We could enter anything here and save that what will happen to our repository. It's going to change its status because now we have modified changes. But then we want to get rid of that, but not lose forever. So you have just used git stash. It could be utilized this way, but I like to utilize the, the word push. The push gives you the idea you have a stack and you are going to take the changes to the top of this, this stack. And then now your changes were moving. It means we don't have the changes anymore here, but we have not lose that, okay? Because, let me close that again. Because if now we here use commands like git stash and list, you can see we have here some changes already in this stack that can be recovered. And how to recover that? How can I set again this file with the old content I have worked and was not committed? Very simple. You just have to use here git stash and the pop. We have the push to put to push changes in top of the stack and pop to remove that. And then the modifications performed in files will be returned placed there. The changes are again here available. And that's the purpose of this stash. Of course, some kind sometimes when you do that, you could deal with some conflicts when you have performed new changes and this could have some kind of overwriting of old changes like git merge and other options. Hope you have enjoyed that and thank you for watching.